microcasting for your city. Talkopolis. Bandwidth for today's show is brought to you by SoftLayer.com. We love SoftLayer here at Talkopolis. They are the greatest hosting company ever. They make everything easy. Check out their website at SoftLayer.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the show. Also by Nashville Violins, the string player's number one choice for their string instrument needs. Nashville Violins offers everything from lessons to repairs. Make sure you check them out at NashvilleViolin.com. Hello. Hey there, y'all. We're ready to get you fired up about Music Business Daily. Oh, we That's are. this show where we bring you all the hottest music headlines. Yes, we do. We do. And we... Our number one story. Oops. Our Did number one story. Off? No, I just... Okay. It's Beyonce, so it's just hard for me to just... She's number one fan she, for Beyonce. Yes. And, and I'm number two fan, probably. So, welcome to, to the most excitement you could ever have about the fact that she is playing the Super Bowl halftime performance. Yes. Yay! Yay! the best. I'm just going to say, it's going to be the best halftime performance since Prince. I think it will be. eight, ten years ago. It's been a long time. We've been time. waiting a long I just, time. It seems like forever because everyone else has sucked. Because Madonna was a flop. I mean, I was there for Bruce Springsteen. I know not everybody else was because he's an old man. I wouldn't say it was a complete flop. I yeah. think that Black Eyed Peas and Slash Ooh. were a complete flop. Yeah, yeah. But Madonna had her moments, and CeeLo was there. Yeah. So he saved it a little I know. bit. CeeLo should just be a part of everything. Outfit. He should be. Yes. But Beyonce is going to be there. I like that the headline was, if you like it, then you better put a championship ring on it. We had to, of course, make a pun about it. Of course we did. It's so cheesy. Yes, exactly. But she's going to be playing the 2013, you know, Super Bowl. She's confirmed with this adorable little picture of her with uh, the little, you know, football makeup, which, of course, she still looks February flawless. February 3rd, 13th, I can't read it. What are you doing? 3rd, February 3rd, 2013. So yes. put it on your calendars. Get ready. You know, not for the Super Bowl, just for Beyonce. But my favorite part is that everybody's speculating, you know, who she's going to play with. Because, of course, I mean, I think she could just walk out there and just kill it herself. But... You know, they always have to put people with other people. It's all about collaboration. You want to get more artists. But, I mean, I mean, there's a good, strong chance. Obviously, she's married to Jay-Z. I mean, if de if there was a little Destiny's Child reunion happening, I would not be mad about that. I would love I her. Yes. I love Kelly Rowland, first love her. of all. Yes. And Beyonce. And Just Michelle. Anything Just anything Beyonce. Beyonce does is going to be fabulous because so, she's flawless. I'm excited. I almost thought, you know... Oh, this should have happened and years ago. And Nola's going to host it. There's mm -hmm. been a $320 million renovation mm. there since the 2005 disaster. So it's going to be pretty intense. It's I'm be excited exciting. to see it. I'm I'm really I'm really there for it. Maybe and we'll just fly out there in our Talkopolis jet that we don't have. But that's coming. But that's coming on the we're list. Blowing up, we're blowing up because you're watching us. Yes. Mm -hmm. And another thing that's blowing up. Yes. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Is R. Kelly is reviving. <sighs> reviving. Rev reviving. Yes. Trapped in the closet in crazy new chapters. Crazy chapter. new chapters. It's chapter. been 23 chapters. I mean, when you're R. R. Kelly. Kelly needs to get out of the closet. <laughs> Why hasn't anyone <laughs> saved him? I just don't know. Okay, my favorite part about this story yes. is that it's a hick hopra. Hip hopra. Hip hip hopra. It's a I've hip hop been, opera. I've been confused lately because there's so much hip hop going on in Nashville. This is true. Lately, country rap. But this is the real rap, the hip mm -hmm. hopra. Uh, but. It's saying it's a retro soul throwback. So, I mean, he I just like that he wrote Trapped in the Closet, and then that was somewhat of a success because it was just so hilarious. The first made time it, around. Yeah, made it into these episodes on IFC, and now he says that, you know, everybody's got a closet. These next <laughs> chapters is going to be so crazy. That's a direct quote. Uh, but So he's going to start with Chapter 23, but he said he has, like, 30 more chapters, and there's this big rumor that I, I he can't. could drop more of them on Black Friday. So you could just go buy more chapters. Wait, why Black Friday? I don't know. It's crazy. Somebody's trying to, Somebody's pay trying off to that get a tax deal. Bill. Yeah, he's trying okay. to pay out back the IRS. He, put he a needs song to out write every more. Day. <laughs> That's why he's writing them. They're all about the IRS and how sorry he is. So Ellie Golding, you may yes. know her for you know just being she super looks, blonde. Every time I look at her, she looks exactly like that kid off that movie Hannah, the ten-year-old assassin. She does. Maybe so she is an assassin. I think. That she kills people every time that I see her. Well, not but yet. She kills music. She does. She kills. She's <laughs> killing it. Good fun. She's dating Skrillex because kind you of know a crazy match. They both have really good hair working, but she says that she you know would love to make music with him. That's the headline. Well, She'd love surprise, to make an surprise. album. Surprise! Everybody wants to make music with her. Brother. I know. And so apparently they had they done a collaboration, but it didn't make it onto the album. But she said, I think in an ideal world we would love to make a whole record together. But it just so happens we're both ridiculously busy when it comes to music. It honestly is really professional honestly well double honestly 
Beyonce and Jay-Z make it work. They make I know, it happen, but so. I think that's a lot of pressure. I mean, they're not, you know, they're just dating. I mean, what if you right. put out they're an album? They're not married. What if you they put out an album and then you break yet. up, you know? It's true. Like, well, that's just if you rough. made beautiful music together, though, Ooh. that's never going to go Never going to go away. Exactly. Unless it's not beautiful music. Well, then they need to <laughs> they need to go up to that standard of music yes. that is beautiful. We will keep you posted we on will how keep that you develops. Posted. Yes. Luke Bryan. He is partnering with Cabela's. Cabela's! The outdoor world yes. popular out Love gear outfitter. There. Yes. So they're sponsoring his new tour called the Dirt Road Diaries Tour. I which just think it's January 13th. a natural matchup because. January. You have your country fans, you know, me included, who love to go out, you know, and wear outdoorsy gear and camo. And, I mean, Luke, this is just his life. This is I what he does. I have yet to see you in this, though. I have not worn my camo yet. I'll be premiering it. Okay. At some point. Maybe at the office one day. Maybe at the office. We need to have, we're going to have ugly sweater. Yes. We're going to have tiny in sweater in December. But we need to have maybe camo exactly. Friday or something. Maybe so. Camo Friday. I, yeah. It could work. I, I'm still pushing for Nashville. denim Friday. So, you know, tweet <laughs> us an idea of what you want us to wear on Music Business what Daily. What do you want to see us in? Wait, you know, let us know. Something fun like that but Luke Bryan partnering with Cabela's um, they're gonna do a bunch of stuff behind the scenes they're gonna do shoot a bunch of footage of you know him on his ranch and you know on four-wheelers and just you know so I think people are just gonna hang it out on dirt roads exactly that's people what it's all about wait. that's what it's all about another thing people can't wait for is, is dogfish head the brewery yes is teaming up with the grateful dead for american beauty beer so i oh, mean the this grateful little dead picture is so cute of that know. happy bear the with dead bear, bear mm -hmm. and has a little <laughs> collar around He's him like a clown. It. Exactly. So American Beauty, you know, the name of their pretty much best-selling big album is what they named it. And I thought it was cool that they actually had a contest with their fans to ask what they wanted to put into the beer. Wow. So they had like, you know, and so it's going to be revealed. It's top secret. I don't know. It's, you know, I, it's kind of cool. As long as it's tasty. I'm They're trying down. to be relevant again. I mean, the Grateful Dead, they never go away. I mean, I, they you know, never they go just away. keep touring. The Deadheads are still into it. I mean, you can buy anything with Grateful Dead on it. You know, it's just kind of an empire. So why not and bring your Grateful Dead beer? And so adorable. Yeah. Why not bring your Grateful Dead beer to your Grateful Dead show and just and hang drink out, it, you know? And listen. Raise it into the air. Let music heal you. Exactly. Let Dave Navarro... Uh, I don't think he's going to heal you. I was he's not going to heal you. He's going to guest star, but though. But he's riding into <laughs> Sons of Anarchy. Yes. FX's um, huge show right now. Our motorcycle drama. We have to do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, everybody's been guest starring. Yeah. Ashley Tisdell guest starred Hilarious. the other day as a prostitute. Big Hilarious. surprise. Community, Joel McHale. I love he him. He showed up, too. So now Dave Navarro, what's he going to be doing? He's, he's just, going to be I, they, haven't reported, they haven't reported surprise, what he's surprise. going to be. But he mm -hmm. also will do a cover of the Rolling Stones' Sympathy for the Devil for the season five finale. So that'll be, I mean, they always pick really good, like, super awesome rock music on that show. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, it's a show about motorcycle right. gangs. Like, you're allowed to just play I just love whatever. that title, Sympathy for the Devil. Yeah. Who thinks about that? People. I mean, I'm thinking about Dave it Navarro now, does, and he will cover it. come up with it. So, you know, we'll have to see if he has a good acting chops. I don't know. Lots of metalish news today. Lots of metalish. Our last, our last story of the day. Yes, our friend Rick Rubin is producing a <laughs> new Black Sabbath album. For the first time in ever. Since 1995. Yeah, right? Black yeah. Sabbath are getting back together to record an album. Ozzy Osbourne. I really He's hope be back in it. I really hope that there's going to be some, you know, some collaboration from Sharon Osbourne because I think she's just hilarious. I love how the she's album. the one dishing the news. About yeah, this. she's the one that confirmed Ozzy it. Osbourne's Ozzy's mom. like probably taking a nap. Like but he doesn't know what he's doing. Maybe she's just on her shows or her mini shows. I know she has a whole empire of shows. Right. She's just like, hey, P.S. Black Sabbath doing <laughs> but, stuff. I'm aware, you know, because you know, I am I'm Sharon get Osbourne ready for it i don't know i don't know but, but it's, it's you know they've reunited before but they haven't recorded since 1995 under the name black sabbath well, obviously they've done solo projects so it could Rick be interesting involved with i think is pretty huge i think it's gonna be exciting i mean i think that they could really come back and do like a really big tour i know that they would still sell pretty well i think and they're pretty calm down these days they're not like yeah. fighting bats on stage and, anymore yeah no, they might bring it back, but we'll see. We'll see how I Sharon think it how Sharon on approves how of that. How excited you guys get <laughs> exactly. out there? So if you're excited about Black Sabbath, <laughs> you need to take a stand. In, tweet at us. Yeah, we'll get him on the get show. Get excited. Obviously, we'll see what happens. Yes. Like we said, fired up. Fired up. So that's all our stories for today on yes. this fine Thursday. But thanks for joining us, and we will see you tomorrow. On Have a Friday. fabulous fall day. Ah, uh, perfect. Bye. Microcasting for your city. Talk up us.